story about a maid. Nowadays, mostly people need maids in their houses to done their house chores and all. Here, I'm not talking about all the maids, because all five fingers are not equal. It's only few, who are jealous and mean. They only have interest in our personal matters and listen to the important discussions of the houses and then they start manipulating and spreading them. Kindly don't discuss your family matters in front of any outsider. No need to give your weakness to any stranger, because sooner or later they'll use it against you just to spoil your family relationships and create mess in your house. This story has two parts, this is the first one. I hope you'll like it. Thank you for watching Naja Animations. Kindly, like share and subscribe. Don't forget to press bell icon as well. Thank you. Martin, I'm so tired now. How many times I've to told you. I need a maid in this house. Just look how I manage this house chores alone. Your kids are so unsupportive to me. Look at my age now. I'm tired and getting old now. Kindly find a maid for this house and that's it. You don't worry Amy. I've already talked with many people. Maybe today or tomorrow I will get some update about this matter. Don't worry. Yes, please do it now. I'm so much fed up. Okay, okay. Relax now, don't worry, please. We will get a mate soon. Yes, sir, you called me here? Mason, I only gave you a very simple task to find a mate for my house. You still didn't give me any answer. Why? Sir, I talked with many people. Today maybe some helper come to your house along with the mates for an interview. Yes, please. Send them to my house as soon as you can. Sure sir, why not? I'm on it. How are you? You promised me to go to my boss's house along with the maid for the job interview of a maid. Tell me, why you didn't went there? Sorry I was busy today, but tomorrow I promise I will go there with you. Yes, don't waste the time. Make sure, tomorrow you must visit my boss house. Okay. Okay sure sir don't worry. Don't forget that please. Okay okay. <laughs> Listen Mr. and Mrs. Martin are very good people. In fact this whole family is very nice and good. I'm sure they will pay you good more than your salary as well. As you see, they are already offering you a very handsome package for your work. So, please you must do proper work there and take care of everyone there. Okay no problem. You don't worry about it. If you want to eat something in that house, first you need to ask to your madam Amy. Okay Grace? Don't teach me. I'm not a kid anymore. I know how to adjust myself there. Yes, you know we are poor people. Your mother is a cancer patient. And your brother is also doing two jobs, which are very hard and tough. I just want to make you understand, please you must focus on your work there only. Make happy them. Then they'll pay you more, they will increase your salary. Do you get it all Grace? Okay okay. Now please stop your lecture. I'm so much fed up. You are repeating same thing again and again. Have a very good morning Mrs. Martin. I'm Henry. Mr. Mason sent us here, for the job interview of Grace as a maid in your house. Thank you so much for coming here. Well, where is Grace by the way? Grace come here please. What is your name? Madam my name is Grace. You want to work in my house? Yes, Madam I need this work. And I want to do work in your house whatever you say. I know, how to cook, clean and wash. I know every house chores. That is so good then, come with me Grace. I'll show you my house. We are four people living here. My two daughters and me, and my husband. You have to do just normal house chores and nothing so hard and special. We are a small family, with small responsibilities and all. I hope you get me exact. You don't worry madam. I've done many jobs in different houses. They all are happy with me. After my mother's health issue, I've left at all jobs. Now my other family member is look after my mother and I wanted to do some work for my family, and for its expenses. 
Very good. Now come with me. This way. Sure, madam. Madam Millie, have you done your breakfast? Why you are asking, hon? Because, I've to wash the place and clean the kitchen. That's why I'm asking from you, madam. Well, no, I'm still eating. Madam Millie, can I say something? If you don't mind? Now what? You are very beautiful lady. Just look at your clothes and jewelry. I really liked it. Your fashion sense is so amazing. Go and do your work, please. Okay, okay. Madam, I clean all the kitchen and wash the dishes. Now what should I do? Now go and clean all the rooms. Make sure it should be neat and clean and tidy. If I saw anything like hair and other stuff on bedsheets then I will cut your salary. Okay madam okay. Don't worry. Just look at their behaviors with me. This is my second day, how she was talking with me rudely. Now she said, I will cut your salary if the cleanliness is not up to the mark. Wow. And her daughter how she talked with me in a very insulting way and her behavior was so rude. They think. They are rich people. So they can treat us like this. But now I will also create a mess in their house. I know the tactics. They will forget their names too. Grace you also should teach them a good lesson. This family is so mean and rude. Hey what are you doing in my room? If you clean the room then go outside. Okay Madam Emily. Now enough is enough. If they again mistreats me, then I will start same thing I've done in many houses before. And I'm a master of these tricks. Grace just look at the time. Is this a time to come to your workplace? Sorry madam. Go and start your work now. Wash all the clothes. Why you are crying? What happened with you, Grace? Madam, you know I really respect you and care about you. I can't bear if anyone say something bad about you. What? What are you saying? Grace, who said bad about me? Please make a promise with me. You will not discuss this thing to your mother. Please. I belongs to a very poor family. I can't afford if your mother kick me out from this house and job. Okay, okay, tell me what happened. I promise, I will not discuss with anyone. Sure, madam. Yes, yes, sure. I was cleaning the room. Then I listen your younger sister Millie was talking with your mother. They both were talking very bad about you, madam Emily. What they were talking and what they said about me and why? Your sister said to your mother, Mom Emily is a very selfish girl. And please stop her not to get married with Smith. He is a bad guy. And very oversmart. All the time he wandering to the streets and restaurants with his friends. Oh God. Then what my mother said to her? She said I agree with you. You are saying it right Muley. I will not let Emily to be married with Smith. And yes Emily you are also said right about Smith is very an oversmart person, free man. I don't like him too. How you can say this Grace? My engagement has been done by my parents and they were willing with this proposal. Now how my sister and mother can say this? They know this well. I really love Smith and he also loves me. I was only telling you this, what I heard them talking madam. Because I feel your sister Millie is very jealous from you. She also said, Mom Emily is a not a reliable girl. She is very clever and smart. She only spent money of daddy on Smith and in useless things. How dare she can say this much bad about me. Please promise with me. You will not discuss this with your mother and sister please madam please. If they get to know I told you this all, then they'll fire me for this job. See madam, if I listen more then, I will tell you then. Okay. Okay okay relax, I promise. But please keep updated me Grace. 
Sure, madam, why not? Now I've started my proper work in this house. Same like I did before in many houses. Splitting up families is my favorite hobby. I feel jealous from all these rich people. I don't like rich people at any cost. They treat us like small insects and animals. They make us remember that we are below them. They are rich and we are poor. We live in small houses and they live in big houses. But now I'll create a full mess in this house. Like, share, subscribe.